Maryville, Tennessee. Never been here before, but I knew when I drove in here, I go, look at this, right? I come up over that hill over there, and I've seen the, the layout, right? The bird's eye view of it, and I go, this is good. This is a lot different, you can feel it, you know? It's just a really perfect spot, the college. And that promotes a more refined culture, more awareness, and there's people, you know, it's more eclectic. worship service at the Highland Games is a real worship service where on Sunday morning we pause and worship God and all the blessings that we have. It includes the Kirken of the Tartans, the blessing of the Tartans. There's also a reading of necrology, a reading of those, the flowers of the field who have um, members of the community who have died in the last year. Then there is a playing of the Scottish song, Flowers of the Field, and a prayer. It's just a music that sort of hits the soul. You know, uh, different people have different instruments that, that really um, they take a grasp to that, as people say, make the hair on your neck curl. Well, the pipes do that for me and, and bring in the joy to other people. They, they just break into a smile when you bring out the pipes and start playing. It's just very important to me to keep this heritage alive and pass it on to our children and grandchildren and just keep it going forever. That's the whole thing. I am a member of Knoxville Pipes and Drums and I teach beginners for, for the pipe band. <laughs> I tell Americans it's a sweet biscuit. Your biscuit you would serve and can serve with a main course of savory and a scone over there is sweet. It can be used at breakfast or for a lemonade with tea or coffee or as a dessert. You can even make them savory if you want to put cheese in them. Uh, it's just a fun little competition. Um, you know, it's a the Scots were a warrior group, and uh, it's just a way to practice. The guys kept their uh, their edge sharp as it were. It's kind of just like the sportsmanship of everybody, you know, just making friends, and just everybody's got to have a hobby, I guess. I started last year, and I do all seven. There's the sheaf, which is the, the uh, bag over bar. We use a 16-pound burlap bag. Stuffed with rope, these special three time pitchforks. Yeah. Wait for high. <laughs> Wait for distance. Actually, we throw two weights for distance, 56 and 28. Stone for distance, and uh, 22 pound sledgehammer for distance. Okay.
These are more of the girl dances in the skirt. Those were more traditionally done by women. And the kilt dances were traditionally done by men. And now we're just taking over. Once I tried it, I absolutely loved it. It's very addicting. And the competition part of it. This is um, my fork that we use in the sheep toss. And this was my Mother's Day gift, actually. <laughs> I am a mother of three. That's not ours. Ours is pink on the end. hearing bagpipes and <laughs> I mean, it was beautiful I mean, it's something that you know Mary was Mary college you don't get often but it's definitely a part of us and uh, the first impression I was a little nervous um, seeing guys walk around in the kilts and this is abundance of kilts and, and beauty but um, I, I really enjoyed myself. <laughs>